Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you one of the most affordable new homes currently available in North America. I've always got my eye out for the next affordable housing option, but waiting for something to fall into my lap simply was not cutting it. I decided to go out looking for it. I'm talking about scouring all the housing pages on the internet, 300 tabs open, emails, phone calls, you name it, and boy did it pay off. How affordable is this home? It's so affordable that the company selling them had to limit the number of homes per customer to one. This isn't a massive home. Words like compact, tiny, and small footprint have been buzzing this year. One, because home prices have gone interplanetary. And two, because more places are catering to these types of homes to try and combat number one the affordability problem. What I'm gonna do is show you the home, tell you where you can get one, and of course, I'm gonna look at the affordability, so let's do it. Tell you what, I don't love the name of this unit, but it might be one of the most affordable new homes available in North America right now. It's called the Thrifty One. It's a one bedroom, one bathroom, 427 square foot home being offered for a limited time at, get this, $42,900. The company offering the Thrifty One for that price is Factory Expo Home Centers, but more on them in just a minute. The Thrifty One is in their Gold Star series and is available for delivery to Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, Ohio, Kentucky, Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, and Wisconsin. Sorry, California, no such luck. It's 13 foot four by 32 feet and has everything you need. Bedroom, bathroom, living room, and kitchen. Look at this thing, cute as a bug's ear. It has a side entrance into the living room, which is open to the kitchen. Then there's a short hallway to the bathroom, laundry area, and bedroom. The exterior isn't anything fancy or over the top, but that's okay because this home is serving its purpose as an affordable option. You may or may not be able to make changes to the exterior or interior of this home because sometimes factories will limit options when they're really working at affordability. That way, they know exactly what's coming down the line when they see a thrifty one on the build sheet. That keeps the machine running as smooth as possible and allows them to offer a more affordable price. If not, John Dutton might order a thrifty one, but he wants it extended four feet, an eight foot porch, a shed roof, and a lazy Susan. Efficiency goes out the window and it's no longer a quick and easy build, which could mean they can no longer offer such an affordable price. May or may not be the case with the thrifty one, but I have seen that happen. Sometimes if you want a really affordable price, you have to be willing to keep it simple. Before today, I didn't know a heck of a lot, anything, about factory expo home centers, and in a sense, I still don't. But lucky for me, they have a fast facts section on their website, so we're golden. Factory Expo Home Centers was founded in 1999 in Phoenix, Arizona with their first location at the Chandler factory. Doesn't say what brand their first factory location was, but that's okay. Fast forward to now and they have 19 locations across the country, have sold over 15,000 homes, serve 47 states, and are famous for running huge sales and promotions. I can't argue with that. I can't, this sale does seem pretty good. This specific location, the one offering the thrifty one for $42,900 is located in Topeka, Indiana. I should mention since they are located right at the factory, they do offer free factory tours daily, a worthwhile activity if you haven't done it. I've been on a bunch of these over the years and if you really like manufactured homes, like really a lot, it's kind of like going to Disneyland. If you don't really like manufactured homes, you might be bored to tears, your call. But speaking of factories, let's look at which one actually builds this house. It's noted on the Factory Expo Home Center website that this home is a champion build. A quick Google search confirms that yes, there is a champion factory in Topeka, Indiana, and there we have it, right across the way, Factory Expo Home Center. I can already see how I would plan my day out. I would stop in at the office in the morning, request a factory tour. After the tour, slide over to El Zorito Mexican for lunch. Go pick out a house, and if there's time, browse the new Posturepedics at Topeka Mattress and Furniture Sales. Sounds like a nice little Saturday if you ask me. For those of you not interested in going on a factory tour, let me tell you a bit about Champion Homes. 
These folks are one of the largest home builders in North America, employing nearly 7,700 people. They have 40 manufacturing facilities, have been building manufactured homes for over 70 years, and have built over 3 million homes. Under their 2021 fiscal highlights, it says they sold just over 21,000 homes this year, which confused me a little bit because I can't figure out how they've built 3 million homes in 70 years unless they had years where they were building way more than this year. The math doesn't seem to add up unless I'm missing something, which is very possible. Things that make you go, huh. I have bought homes from a champion factory in Canada called SRI Region, and while I can't speak to every champion factory and brand, I do really like the homes from SRI Region. Highly recommend. Like California, unfortunately up here we don't have anything nearly as affordable as the thrifty one, but for those of you that do, let's look at the affordability from a monthly payment perspective. There are added costs that need to be considered for any home. Stuff like delivery, setup, decks, steps, hookups, tax, etc. But those are literally going to be different for every buyer. So for now, we're going to look at the monthly payment of just the home alone. Home alone. If you put 10% or around $4,300 down at an interest rate of 5% over 20 years, the monthly payment would be a very affordable $263. Obviously, you need somewhere to put this home, which is going to add to the monthly cost. Whether it's a piece of property you own or a space in a mobile home park is totally up to the individual, but something that needs to be factored into the monthly cost for sure. Again, going to be different for every single buyer. Finding a place to put anything right now is another big challenge, but what I like about this home is it solves half the problem and that's a start. This home would work very well as a primary residence or a secondary residence on a property if you're looking for something to bring in monthly income. Before you commit to buying anything, make sure a manufactured home is permitted wherever you want to put something because zoning and bylaws do vary from place to place. High output manufactured home providers have the ability to build these compact homes at a lot lower price point than some of the boutique builders and the only reason I can think of that they aren't diving headfirst into this market is they're so busy with everything else. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.